Hey guys, Evan 1994 here and welcome to Mod Monday episode number 6. And if you don't know already, if you're new around here, Mod Monday is a weekly series where I show off awesome Minecraft mods. So yeah, this week we are doing some Team Fortress 2 mods. We're doing the TF2 Teleporters and the TF2 Sentries. And basically it takes the, uh, the sentry guns and the teleporters straight out of uh, Team Fortress 2 and throws them into Minecraft and it basically brings the two best things in the world, Minecraft and Team Fortress 2, throws them in and makes one awesome baby. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, so here we go and let's get into this mod. Alright, hey guys, so now it's time to show off the mod. So as you can see here, we've got three different uh, sentry guns, just like in Team Fortress. We got the uh, lowest level right here, we got the middle level, and we got the highest level. And you can actually, if you get out your wrench, I'm gonna show you how to craft everything at the end of this video. If you get out a wrench, you can see how many kills it got, how much ammo it has, its health, and uh, the level. So, yeah. So, if I, uh, we're gonna, actually, I'll show you in a bit, but see, this one is level 2, as you, as you can see, it says right there, level 2, and if I left click it, see, the, the, the level goes up a little bit, so, if I left click it a few more times, see, it goes up and up and up, I'm not gonna fully upgrade it yet, and, uh, as you can see, this one's level 3, as it says right there, so that's pretty cool, and, uh, we're gonna test this out, so, we're just gonna throw spider down whoa okay so yeah as you can see it kills it pretty quickly <laughs> yeah so uh, and um, and there is a sentry monitor I just kind of popped it into my inventory here uh, and basically you can select what you want to kill so if you want to kill every single chicken that comes into sight you can kill every single chicken that comes into sight you know <laughs> um, and yeah, pretty much everything here you can uh, you can set it to kill, and it will set it for every single sentry. Um, it'll set it for all three of these, or however many you have uh, out and about. And yeah, so put a few spiders down. And yeah, as you can see, well, it kills it. And uh, this this sentry, the little one, it kills it slowly. This one, it shoots a little bit faster. And then this one has rockets. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that is the sentry guns. Uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, when other mobs destroy it, it will drop iron. So if you want to destroy it, you're going to use your wrench. Or wait, no. You don't use a wrench, I'm sorry. You just use anything to break it other than wrenches. And then it will break and it will give you this. And this is the actual sentry. Um, and you can uh, you can have different colors, but I'll show you that in a minute. So, um, as you can see, I have a bunch of teleporters here. So, I have two blues and two reds. So, go on the blue. The color actually doesn't matter. See, I teleported to the other blue. And let's put the red. And we teleport to the other red. So, as you can see here, we have uh, frequencies. So, this blue is set to the frequency zero and this blue is set to zero and this red is set to one this red is set to one so if you have them on the same frequency they'll, they'll uh you'll use those like if i put this one on three and this one on three then these two will be synced up see these ones stop being synced up um so yeah so it doesn't really matter about the color but it's all about the frequencies so that's pretty neat I think that they have frequencies and uh, yeah so now we're gonna uh, get into the crafting recipe re the crafting <laughs> recipes and I'm gonna show you how to make all this stuff so to make a teleporter base you're gonna want to make an H shape with iron ingots and that will create a teleporter base and next you'll need a teleporter propeller so you're gonna do that by putting three irons down there uh, two redstone torches and three redstone oh sorry four redstone um, and that will create a teleporter propeller so to actually make a teleporter you're gonna put the base on the bottom the propeller and then you will either do red or blue depending on what color you want 
So you use your lapis lazuli or your rose red. And uh, that will create a teleporter. Bam. So as you can see, that creates a teleporter. And uh, yeah. And if you want to switch the color of your teleporter, that's easy. You just put the color or the teleporter there and uh, put the opposite color. And then it will create a blue one. And if I want a red one, you put it like that. And there we go. Bam. Okay, <laughs> so now we're getting onto the sentry recipes, and I think my teleporters are killing things, so that's awesome. They're keeping me nice and safe during the nighttime. <laughs> so you need. Ah, oh, it's snowing. Screw off snow. Um, holy crap, they're blowing everything up here. Anyway, uh, so you're gonna need a teleporter base, or not a teleporter base, a sentry base. And you do that like that. Now we need a uh, sentry head, so we're gonna do that by putting iron ingots in the four corners, like that. We'll put uh, red, or gunpowder sorry, on the left and right, redstone on the top and bottom, and then finally a dispenser in the middle. And that'll create a sentry head. So to actually uh, create a sentry, we're gonna put a sentry base, a sentry head, and then we need a color. So it's either blue, and that gives us a TF2 sentry, or a red, and can you do this? I don't even know. Yes, okay. So, or red, whatever. So you're gonna need a wrench to upgrade these things. So to make a normal wrench, you'll just go like that, and that gives you a normal wrench. And if you want a golden wrench, you do the same thing with uh, golden ingots. And golden wrenches are better because they, uh, they level your sentry up a little bit faster. And uh, finally, we're going to need a sentry monitor so by doing, or to make that, you're going to put three redstone on each side, two buttons, and then a piece of glass at the top. And that will create our sentry monitor, which of course, oh, hey look. Okay, so this is a perfect example. See, my health is low. So we're gonna level it up, level up, level up. Oh, yeah, and totally leveling it up here. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Now I got two beasts. <laughs> so yeah, so that's pretty much it, I, I guess. I don't really know what else to show. I showed the crafting recipes, I showed uh, everything in the mod. And yeah, so let's get on to the uh, tutorial on how to install it. And if you don't need a tutorial, then thank you for watching. And uh, please leave a rating and have a good day. Now on to the tutorial. Alright, so welcome to the tutorial portion of this video. So you're going to want to click the link in the description which will take you to the Team Fortress 2 Teleporter plus Sentry mod page. Uh, it's pit mo Pitman's, Pitman's Mods. Okay, so anyway, uh, just click right here where it says TF2 Teleporter. Bam! And uh, click the link. Bam! And it'll take you to ADF. Why? Ad fly. Someone told me that. I'm glad they told me that, so I can stop saying ADF. Dot Ly. Anyway, click the uh, skip ad button, and it'll take you to Mediafire. Download that. I already have it downloaded on my desktop. So let's go back to the page, and uh, where it says current mod loader and audio mod required, we're gonna want to click that, and it'll take you. Take us to Rizugami's mods, and you want to scroll on down and click to download direct over uh, the mod loader. And once you have that downloaded, you can scroll on down to where it says audio mod, as you can see. And you'll want to do the same thing download direct, and then go back and uh, just scroll on down. Scroll, 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 scroll. To where it says the TF2 Sentry mod. So you'll want to download that as well. Uh, you wait for the ad fly link and then you'll skip the ad and download it. It's pretty straightforward, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it takes you to here. Download that. Oh, I think I. No, oh, no. I thought I clicked it. Uh, yeah, but anyway, so I have them all downloaded right on here, right on my desktop. So what you want to do is open up your Minecraft and click force update and log in and that's just so that if anything goes wrong just do this and try it again because uh, yeah 
That's what you gotta do. And why is it going so slow? Oh my god, I'm gonna punch a baby. Something that I don't want to punch. There! Oh my god, I was about to kill someone. Okay, so, uh, once that's done, down, er, we'll I'll just exit out of that and then we'll open it back up. <laughs> uh, go to options, click the uh, folder here. And we're gonna close out of Minecraft now. And uh, just a tip, just a tip, what? What am I saying? Just a tip or a heads up. Uh, add the .minecraft folder to your favorites. You know, you gotta add it to your favorites. It's a super awesome shortcut. Uh, and to do that, you just go back to the roaming folder, click the Minecraft, drag it over into your favorites, wherever you want. And uh, then when you click it, it'll just go there. So anyway, yeah, cool tip. Um, and so once that's done, click the bin, open up the minecraft.jar with winrar or 7-zip, whatever you have, and uh, de delete the meta inf, meta inf, right away. And then open mod loader, one of the folders that you downloaded, and click and drag them all over, like that. And we'll close out of that. And then we'll do audio mod. And we'll drag all those. Like that. Okay, so then we're going to open up the TF2 Sentry mod. And here where it says uh, into Minecraft.jar, you're going to put those into Minecraft.jar. It's pretty obvious. And then go back to where it says into resources. Um, and we're going to go back to the Minecraft folder here so I, I told you to put it in your favorites so um, <laughs> so you'll open up resources and you'll just click and drag that over if you already have a mod folder you're gonna want to merge the folders together and yeah let's, so let's minimize that and then we can close the TF2 sentry folder and open up the TF2 teleporter folder and this is pretty much the exact same thing so Click and drag everything over into the Minecraft.jar, and then go back to that resources folder, and then merge the folders again if it asks you, well it will ask you, and click yes. And then we can close everything, and open up the Minecraft, and open up the, the what am I saying, <laughs> log in and it should be working. So there we go. And, well, hold on a sec. Uh, I don't have too many items right now, so... Um, yeah, whatever. It'll work. So, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed and this helped you out, and or, and, or you uh, liked the mod, uh, please leave a rating. And thanks for watching. I don't know. Peace.